In this video, we will discuss the effectors of the innate immune system. We will discuss what is phagocytosis, we will discuss what is opsonization. We will discuss in detail the role of C-reactive proteins, mannose binding proteins, as well as the complement proteins. In this video, I'll show how our body defends against these pathogenic organisms. Before we start the lecture, I have a quick request to make. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support. Today, our topic of discussion is the effectors of innate immune response. So let me write down the topic, which is effectors of the innate immune response. In this video, I will try to discuss the cellular as well as the molecular effectors. And I will focus on the pathogenic organisms, specifically taking the example of the bacteria. So before I start this specific topic, I want to mention that our body. So let me design a body. I hope I will be able to design an accurate structure of the body. All right, so our body is surrounded by various kinds of pathogenic organisms. There are bacterial cells that are trying to enter inside our body. There are viruses, as you can see, virus particle on the screen. There are worms, there are pathogenic fungus, and there are other types of organisms that are trying to enter in our system. And our body is trying to develop a defensive system against these organisms so that we can stay healthy, right? So there are some effector molecules that play an important role to defend our body. So let me show it by taking an example of the bacterial cell. Bacteria usually have these molecular markers on their, on their surface. These are known as PAMPs. They are not only present on the surface, they are present inside the bacterial cell too. They are known as pathogen-associated molecular patterns. So these pathogen-associated molecular patterns, the, uh, these are basically the signature of the pathogen of the bacterial cell. Now this pathogen needs to be recognized by our immune system, by the phagocyte, so that phagocytes can kill this organism. So the next step is phagocytosis. Here I'm going to design a phagocyte which is trying to eat up the bacterial cell. And these phagocytes are going to recognize these pathogen-associated molecular patterns known as PAMPs. So let me write down this whole process which is known as phagocytosis. And the phagocytes are neutrophils, dendritic cells, as well as the macrophages. These are the important phagocytes of our immune system. Now the PAMPs will be recognized by these phagocytes and the bacteria will be enveloped. So this is the important effector. These phagocytes, they are the important effector of our immune system. Now the next are these proteins, which is C-reactive protein, CRP, and the complement proteins. And plus you have mannose binding protein, as well as SPA and the SPD proteins. These, these are the proteins present in our blood and they try to attach to the microorganism so that this organism can, I, can be identified by the phagocyte. And when they attach to the, the pathogenic organism, in this case bacterial cell, we call it as a opsinized pathogen. So let me write it down. Opsinized pathogen. Okay, this enhances the phagocytosis process. So now you can see this opsinized pathogen will be recognized. So these opsonins, they are going to be recognized by opsonin receptors and the phagocytosis is going to increase. Right? So this is another process where phagocytosis comes into the picture. Now, these opsinized pathogens, they, they can be directly killed. So, direct lysis by complements as well as antimicrobial proteins. 
play an important role here. So this is the whole layout of the innate immune response, how our phagocytes, which are neutrophil dendritic cell macrophages, they phagocytize the pathogen by recognizing these PAMPs, which are pathogen-associated molecular patterns. And then you have these proteins, which are C-reactive protein, complement proteins, mannose binding proteins, and the other SPA, SPD proteins that cause the opsonization. Because of that, there is increase in phagocytosis. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand the factors of the innate immune response. In this video, we discussed the role of phagocytosis, we have discussed the opsonization, and we have also discussed the important proteins such as C-reactive proteins, complement proteins, and mannose binding proteins. These proteins play an important role to opsonize the pathogen, and they are the molecules that are recognized by the opsonin receptors. If you like the content of this channel, then please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you and take care.